top 11 things to do in Bali. Bali's must-see cultural attractions and some of the island's most recognizable monuments and scenery are among the greatest things to do there. The eight former kingdoms that make up Bali are home to countless temples, historical attractions, and scenic locations. This list of fantastic things to see and do in Bali will assist you in discovering the best that the island has to offer. From the breathtaking panoramas of Bali to exotic cultural acts, travel to the island's Verdant Center to find rice paddies that make for picturesque photo possibilities, or head east to visit the imposing Mother Temple and exquisite royal water palaces. What are the best things to do in Bali? Number 11. Bali's Beaches Find your own favorite coast. Bali has a wide variety of beaches, and each one is a popular spot in its own right. Bali beaches span from the white sands, palm-lined shoreline of Kuda, Nusa Dua, and Sonor in the south of the island, to the cliff-guarded hidden shores of Uluwatu, Padang Padang, Dreamland, and Bingen. On the north and western shores of Bali, there are also striking black sand beaches with peaceful, uninhabited coves in between. Bali's beaches, which are formerly the hangouts for surfers, now warmly welcome travelers looking for paradise with first-rate lodging and first-rate amenities. There are some secret and hidden beaches along the southern Bukit Peninsula that are just waiting for you to explore, so you might as well find your favorite shore in Bali. Number 10. Tanalat Temple – Bali's Iconic Sea Temple one of the most recognizable temples on the island is Tanala, which is perched atop a rock and constantly battered by the ocean waves. The temple is beautiful throughout the day when placed against the blue water and sky. But after sunset, when its silhouette becomes one of Bali's iconic images, the vista is at its most dramatic. Tanala is one of Bali's most important sea temples and pays honor to the sea's protector spirits. The onshore area is littered with smaller shrines and tourist attractions including stores, a cultural park where live dance performances are presented frequently, and restaurants where you may have a great sunset dinner. Number 9. Basquia Temple The Mother Temple The Mother Temple of Bali, Basquia Temple, is located on the southern flank of Mount Agong, Bali's highest peak. The largest temple complex in Bali is called Basquia, and it has 18 individual sanctuaries that each belong to different castes. They encircle a core complex that is home to three major temples honoring Shiva, Brahma, and Vishnu, the Hindu trinity. Beskia was proposed in 1995, but has not yet been granted World Heritage status. Since each shrine has a different anniversary, there are at least 70 ceremonies or religious festivals done here every year. The best times to visit are early in the morning and late at night, when the temple complex is much more peaceful. Number 8. Ubud Monkey Forest Lush Forest and Animal Sanctuary a swarm of gray long-tailed macaques live in the natural forest refuge known as the Ubud Monkey Forest. One of Ubud's most well-liked sites, formerly known as the Sacred Monkey Forest of Pandangtagal, is conserved effectively thanks to a community-based management scheme. The town center of Ubud is conveniently close to the jungle. You can take pleasant strolls in the lush nutmeg forest along paved roads in addition to watching active monkeys in their natural habitat, swinging through canopies, lounging along pathways, or feeding on bananas. The monkey forest is also home to lovely old temples with frightening guardian statues coated in moss. Number 7. Ubud Art Market – Your Source for Arts and Crafts One of the city's highlights, the Ubud Art Market, is conveniently located across the street from the Ubud Royal Palace. The market is home to a large number of tiny shops managed by local merchants who offer a wide selection of goods, including lovely silk scarves, airy blouses, hand-woven bags, baskets and caps, statues, kites, and many more locally created and supplied items. In the nearby village of Pengosakat, Tegalang, Yangang, and Palayatan, the majority of the commodities sold at the Ubud market are preceded. Naturally, negotiating is important. The Ubud market made a brief appearance in the Hollywood film Eat, Pray, Love. In the scene, Julia Roberts is seen perusing the stalls, which are humming with activity in real life. Number 6. Bali Safari and Marine Park Go on a safari The largest animal theme park in Bali is Bali Safari and Marine Park, where over 60 species can be found roaming freely in enclosures that closely resemble their natural habitats. Bus safaris take guests on an around-the-world excursion with animals from various continents, and animal talent events are often staged on an outdoor stage. Aquatic animals have their own section with aquariums including rare fish species like piranhas. Families with kids can have a blast together at a neighboring water park and a park with a range of amusement park rides after taking pleasure in safari bus rides. 
The park is also home to the Bali Theater, which hosts the contemporary Bali Agang performances during set performance hours. Number 5. Jatilwaya Rice Terraces A flowering sea of green one of the most well-known rice field landscapes on the island can be found in Jetwila Rice Terraces in the Tabanan Regency Cool Highland Settlement of the same name, which occupies a sizable portion of the extensive field. Visitors can find a tranquil getaway away from the crowded southern beach tourist districts of the island. The Jetwila Rice Terraces, which formerly were a candidate for UNESCO Cultural Heritage Site status, span 600 hectares and follow the mountain range of Batikararu's flowing topography. They are looked for by the Subak Traditional Water Management Cooperative, which have been around since the 9th century. The cooperative was a major factor in Bali's inclusion on the list of cultural landscapes. Number 4. Goa Ganja Discover the Elephant Cave One of the most important archaeological sites in Bali is Goa Ganja. The structure, which is said to have once been a hermitage, includes a courtyard filled with ancient artifacts before a temple and a central meditation cave as its main draw. Exotic swimming pools and sculptured fountains can also be found in the courtyard. The name Goa Ganja, which translates to the Elephant Cave, may be a little deceptive to those who are not aware that there are no pachyderms present. Beautiful rice fields and little streams leading to the Petanu River, another location steeped in local met, can be found near the complex's southernmost point. Here you can also locate other intriguing stone artifacts submerged in the water. Goa Ganja is 6 kilometers to the east of the center of Ubud and is accessible through the settlement of Badulu. Number 3. Surfing in Bali Ride world-class waves One of the scenes that contributed to Bali's tourism boom is surfing. Rolling waves and serene, lovely beaches on the island's southern coast were the beginning of what would eventually become the well-known playgrounds for wave riders that we know today. The spectacular surf on the island was initially found by wave riders in the 1930s, and more have since flown in. Both seasoned surfers and newbies looking to get in on the action make up Bali's surfing population. Professional surfers should proceed to the southern Bukit Peninsula's outer reef banks, while beginners should try the smaller waves in the lagoons. Due to the abundance of surf schools and board rentals, Bali is a perfect destination to learn the sport. Number 2. Morong and Chris Dance Admire cultural spectacles one of the most recognizable dance dramas on the island, the Barang and Chris Dance, tells the classic theme of good versus evil from the 12th century. The Barang is a good spirit that manifests as a beast and defends a kingdom from a furious rage of Raganda, the widow and witch queen. While supporting dancers perform the roles of monkeys, priests, and village men, two male performers practice the intricate moves of the Barang costume. The most well-liked village theaters on the island are Patubalan in Ganyar and the suburbs of Denpazar, which feature daily performances. The entire duration of the show is accompanied by a live gamelan orchestra, and dances are performed by the villagers themselves. Shows are locally handed locally. Number 1. Ligong Dance Watch the eloquent moves One of Bali's most stunning rural court performances is the Ligong. The dance, which is performed by mostly young female dancers, is regarded as one of the island's most revered classical dances and is noted for its physically taxing postures and quick movements. The dance has been meticulously preserved over the ages, choreographed to a predetermined sequence. In Bali, there are many locations where you may catch a Lagong dance performance. The Puri Saran Royal Palace, also known as the Ubud Royal Palace, the Engong Rai Museum of Art, or ARMA, and the Purasawati Temple in Ubud are some of the most well-liked locations. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.